And just before four this morning, Vice President Mike Pence accepted the electoral votes from all 50 states and declared President-elect Joe Biden the winner. CBS 4's Natalie Brand has the latest from Capitol Hill. As follows. Joseph R. Biden Jr. of the state of Delaware has received 306 votes. At 3.40 a.m. Eastern Time Thursday morning, the joint session of Congress affirmed President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris's electoral college win. The chair declares the joint session dissolved. The procedural event followed hours of rioting in the halls of Congress and Republican challenges on the House and Senate floors. Vice President Mike Pence rejected President Trump's insistence he could overturn the election results. The world will again witness the resilience and strength of our democracy. For even in the wake of unprecedented violence and vandalism, at this Capitol. After authorities regained control of the Capitol building, some Republican lawmakers publicly dropped their objections to the electoral votes from certain battleground states. However, the events that have transpired today have forced me to reconsider. But a handful of Republican senators continued their challenge, which brought pushback from some of their colleagues. What happened here today was an insurrection incited by the President of the United States. Count me out. Enough is enough. GOP Congressman Mike Gallagher, who yesterday tweeted out a video calling on President Trump to call off his supporters, spoke to CBS this morning. I just don't understand how, after witnessing what we witnessed and knowing, knowing That's that not this is not going anything. to be, a, yeah, exactly. it's not going to change anything. Yeah. Exactly. It was a cynical gambit that they persisted with the objection. At the end of the session, Texas Senator Ted Cruz, who objected to the electoral count in Arizona and Pennsylvania, called for unity and a peaceful and orderly transition of power. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill.